If you had been his competitor, and that's a big if, if you had been his competitor, Senator, do you think you could have beaten him? I, I don't think it uh, makes a whole lot of sense uh, to do Monday morning quarterbacking right now. Uh, the election is over. Uh, Donald Trump uh, won. Uh, between you and me, Wolf, I would have loved to have the, had the opportunity to run against them, uh, but that did not end up being the case. Right now, where we are is where we are. Uh, I intend to work with uh, President uh, Trump on those issues where he will, in fact, uh, work for the middle class and working families in this country. I will vigorously oppose him uh, if he appeals to racism or, or sexism or, or some of the other discriminatory measures that he brought up during his campaign. But it never crossed your mind that you might have done better against him? You might have actually won if you had been the Democratic nominee? What good does it do now? <laughs> You know, the election is over and, uh, you know, Hillary, I did my best uh, to see that Hillary Clinton get elected. I was out in uh, some 12 states during the last week with, eight, uh, I think, 21 rallies. Uh, so the election is over and we've got to look to the future. And what we have got to demand, I think, is that Mr. Trump keep the promises that he made to working families. You'll remember, Wolf, he talked about how he was going to be a champion of working families. Well, I hope he will raise the minimum wage so that people who are working for nine or 10 bucks an hour get the kind of raise they're entitled to. I hope he will do pay equity for women. Women should not be getting 79 cents on the dollar compared to men. I hope he'll rebuild our crumbling infrastructure, and I look forward to working with him if he chooses to do that and create millions of decent paying jobs. And on trade, absolutely we need a new trade policy. I will work with him to get corporate America to start investing in this country, not just in China uh, and in Mexico.